Hello, everybody. Um, can you hear me? I guess. OK. So um, here you can see my current schedule for this week. And I wanted to start a question with a question for you. Can you please raise your hands if anybody here has a calendar that looks similar to this? I see a few hands. That's really good. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> OK. Now, I have a question specifically for you. Are you stressed? Are you overwhelmed? Are you neglecting your well-being? Are you wanting to stay fit but can't really find you know, the time for it? Or are you skipping your workouts because you, know, you cannot fit them in this horrendous schedule that you have? Well, if your answer to these questions is yes, then we have a solution for you. Introducing HealthMate, the first scheduling fitness app that seamlessly integrates into your schedule. Uh, with just a few clicks, you're ready to start this app. So what do you need to do? You need to register on our website, the, on our application, and you just need to provide all of the calendars that you currently have. So no matter how many you have of them, no matter if it's just school or personal or professional, no matter how many they are, you just provide them with us. And you tell us some things about yourself and about your fitness goals, and everything else is set for you. We use a data-driven algorithm to find the perfect time slot for your workouts in your calendar in your specific time. But you know there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of other fitness apps, you know. But what makes us different from everybody else? Other apps just provide you what workouts to do, but they do not tell you uh, what what to do things specifically for you. They provide you with one size fits all solution. And here we come. We provide you with personalized workouts specifically tailored for your specific needs. We solve the problem of when to work out because we use data-driven algorithms to find perfect time slots for you and, per and perfect um, workouts that fit in that time slot. And we also solve the problem of where to work out because you know sometimes you're in the office, you're at home, you're at the gym, maybe you're somewhere outside, but you don't have to worry about that because we have workouts for everywhere that you are. But you might be asking yourself, why specifically us? As you can see, we're, we are students and professionals from really diverse fields, and we have one similar goal. That is that we want to uh, allow fitness to be easy and accessible for all other people who are currently busy individuals. So who are we targeting with this? We are targeting Scandinavia and the region. Oh, we want to implement uh, two, uh, B2B and B2C. So when it comes to the B2B, we, uh, we estimate our market size to be 22 million euros because we want to accomplish, uh, that is to gain one initial capture rate of 5% benefits budget in the digital industries. And when it comes to the B2C, we plan to have 200 million euros potential annual revenue from premium, from premium subscriptions. But as you see, this market is really huge, so we have a lot of competitors. Our main competitor is Train Heroic, and while they do provide personalization, goal tracking, and professional help, they do not have any type of smart scheduling. They do not provide any integration with the calendars, nor do, know that they are uh, capable, scalable to nutrition and mental health. And they're not for everybody, because their sp specific niche are the people who are going to the gym. And because you see, we have a lot of potential, and we believe that our future is really bright. So what, how does this roadmap go? We firstly want to uh, initially develop and test our app with around 100 users, after which we want to enter our market. After we enter the market, we want to uh, do uh, feature expansion. We want to go into nutrition and into mental health. So we stop being just a specifically a fitness app, but we want to be a, a, a whole wellness app that solves all of your issues and everything at one place. And we also want to do long-term growth and development. We want to collect data over time so we can uh, improve our data-driven algorithms and improve our machine learning models in AI technology so, we that provide, so that we provide to you even better recommendations for your workouts and the time that you work out. So to do this, we need 60,000 euros for 15% 15 of equity in our company. Uh, the 60% of these funds were going to go to app development, 25 will go to operational costs, and then 16% will go to marketing and user acquisition. So take control of your life today with HealthMate. It's your well-being, your schedule, your way. Thank you. I would like to ask my team to come and join me. And we're ready for the questions. So if I understand correctly, your your unique value proposition is uh, that you are integrated into the calendars, right? Yeah. Into the scheduling systems, uh, like Google Calendar or something like that. So 
So why do you need 50k to build this? Because it's like, I mean, what is the MVP and what have you built so far? So we currently have the design, as you can see on the presentation that you've seen, but we believe that it uh, takes a long time to create a specific algorithm to actually find the perfect time for scheduling because it has not been done yet. So we want to uh, bulletproof it and to make something like uh, intellectual property of some sort when it comes to, the, when it comes to that uh, scheduling algorithm, if that, um, if that answers your question. <laughs> no, I mean, my, my point is it looks like uh, pretty simple to build like an MVP, like maybe a simpler version of this. So uh, so are you going to actually build this and then use the money for like iterating on it or are, you need 50k to build the product? I mean, that was my question. Uh, good question. So regarding the money that we need, uh, it's around 70% for app development, but the other cost is for operational cost. And we want also around maybe 10 percent for marketing expenses since we are targeting especially dark region benelux, uh, benelux region and scandinavian it's pretty much uh, we need to have rough uh, aggressive marketing in within this region coming from western balkan region so basically when we develop everything then we are going to target those regions Have you ever conducted the rollout of the product in that specific region? I, I'm on board with Paris. I think you need to like see how you will spend your budget and be realistic about it because for the build of the app, you will need probably less because your solution is pretty much easy and um, uh, sufficient num uh, percentage of money should go on marketing and rollout strategy. So since your competition is really, really high in this field, what would be the differentiator uh, in your strategy when it comes to rollout of the product? Yeah, good question. So uh, regarding the competi uh, competition, we uh, have seen uh, in the presentation, it's called Train Heroic, is the uh, app that is mostly used within our uh, target uh, group, so busy professionals coming from 20 to 45 years, and uh, all, and, but they are targeting uh, and just providing only uh, workouts, I don't know, some suggestions, uh, solution, but they don't have a seamless integration within the calendar. So you can also, uh, they have, their own calendar and you need to go to the app and then you have three calendars, you have your private, you have a business account calendar and you have the fitness workout calendar. And But you don't have one solution that integrates all of those calendars and find the time, when is the best time for you to, I don't know, work out in the, uh, in the future also to make good uh, health plans. Uh, so basically our solution, um, and our end goal is to be a um, platform for the quality of life, I will say. So basically using the AI and algorithm, we will, by using the data, provide solutions. When is the best time for you to work out? When is the best time for you, uh, I don't know, to, maybe even to find, uh, I don't know, meeting, uh, even because, uh, I'll have to say it. So basically, example, uh, I'm a busy professional. I don't have a lot of time. And maybe I'm even, each Friday, I'm scheduling one of meeting, but, three times, four times, I'm scheduling the same time, but even though I don't have uh, time, and I know that, but I'm scheduling it. And this app will, will, by using the data, provide solution, okay, Emma, maybe you don't need to schedule on Friday because you, uh, maybe the previous three to four times didn't go on the meeting and didn't uh, use the for fitness. So you need to go on Wednesday, the best time for you to go on Wednesday. So basically, I don't know if I answer the question. <laughs> I mean, usually, usually in apps like this, I mean, the content is like really important. So what, what is the actual, what are you delivering as content? Is it like video or text or a combination of that? And how, how do you produce that content? So um, I don't know if you could see, I don't know if we uh, went really fast over it, but there's going to be video and text explanations for everything, of course. And we want to also include uh, real fitness professionals so not only like ai generated um you know fitness or like a uh, workout schedule so we are going to produce that ourselves with professionals who are certified not only in fitness but also mental health professionals and uh you know, <laughs> yeah we're going to shoot them yeah
Record a video in the beginning, but in the end, we need to not find more sustainable sustainable solution for that. <laughs> Good question. That's a lot of money to get record people and and go into the business that is already probably developed. Maybe it's good thing to think about a B two B and get incorporated with some other feed. My question is why only focus on the fitness? Can you add, can you add actually? You said good word quality of life is actually key important. Most of the CEOs or something. They already know the term when they're gonna to go to gym. You know, it's morning time or evening time. Yes, good time, good thing about AI, very thing, you know, track your habits. But maybe focusing on quality of life is something that you consider, not just fitness, because to produce the worldwide quality fitness training and assessments and the health, nutrition and everything else, you need to spend millions uh, to the quality feed. Uh, so that's the question basically. How about something else quicker, easier that we can actually start using before than just dreaming about this huge recording of the videos, fitness and everything else. I believe there is some um, similar solution uh, from Microsoft. And uh, when I was working, I get maybe on a monthly basis, like some reports, uh, how many meetings I did have, uh, how many, uh, I don't know, uh, hours of meeting and I believe the this platform or this app can go also in that way so basically as you said quality of life and to track all of your habits to track everything and uh, based on that provide solutions so, uh, I not not solutions but suggestions what you need to improve uh, maybe to focus on I don't know other days uh, other time of the day uh, for the your quality of life Thank you very much. Thank you.